Well, right, and Ford has done that before, actually, with, with the decision in Mexico, you know, not to build the focus down there. It's really uh, quite interesting. You know, uh, President Trump has been all over the lot on a lot of things. You know, the, um, uh, whether the flag's going to be flown over the White House at half mast for John McCain, they reversed himself. But one thing uh, on which he's been absolutely consistent, uh, rightly or wrongly, is trade policy. He believes that trade is a zero sum game. And that, you know, that if we, uh, if, if we are buying more from another country than we sell there, that has to be, quote, rectified as opposed to a win win game that most economists believe in. Now, GM has a similar situation. It has a small SUV that it wants to import from China. It's taken a different route, however. Instead of saying we're not going to build it anymore, they've applied for an exemption for this tariff and saying, look, we'll earn profits on this vehicle that we can reinvest in the United States. This is a Buick SUV. Now, of course, the counter argument there is, oh, wait a minute, that the money's fungible. How do we really know where those profits go? But nonetheless, GM invests a significant amount of money every year in the United States. So uh, this is going to be, you're, you're going to see more of this with the president because he seems to be absolutely consistent on this as opposed to perhaps some other things. And he seems, Paul, to be using the automobile business as a particular <laughs> But dare I say it, Trump card in all of this. He said, uh, in, in apparently in parts of the uh, of the leaked interview with Bloomberg, that any time things get a, hit a snag with Canada, he holds up a picture of a Chevrolet Impala. He's made uh, a, a sort of a, a bellicose stance with respect to European imports. So cars are really at the heart of his trade strategy. Well, and it's easy to understand why. Don't forget, cars are high value items. And they're also highly visible in the American psyche, right? I mean, you can talk about putting import restraints on services, uh, such as consulting agreements and that sort of thing, but no one really sees those. Cars are very visible. Now, the truth is that over time, and over not too much time, uh, this is going to raise prices for American consumers. And so how, how people are going to relate to that uh, re, you know, remains to be seen. And the other thing it could do is really threaten American jobs in lots of ways because a lot of these vehicles that are built in Canada and built in Mexico and come into the U.S. are built with port or parts, components, that are imported from the United States into Canada uh, or Mexico, assembled into final vehicles and then shipped back. That's what the NAFTA Free Trade Agreement was all about. And Phil, I have a question, I guess. With what happens now, if you're Ford and you said this is a low margin vehicle, so it doesn't make yep. sense for China with the tariffs, maybe it was Mexico, that right. doesn't make sense anymore. So what now? I mean, can they make it in the United States? And if they do, isn't that no. ultimately President Trump's goal? Well, well no, look, you're not planning that, on building. You know, if, Go ahead, Phil. Oh, well, <laughs> well, let me, let me, and you can jump in because I think you, <laughs> you and I are on the same, on the same page here. Uh, with regard to the Focus Active, they're not building it here in the United States. Could they, if they really wanted to, if it was highly profitable and a high volume vehicle, they'd find space for it. It's not. It's a low volume vehicle. Mm -hmm. It's low profit margin. So they're, they're building it in China because that's the primary market for it. But they were going to export it out of China into the United States. No longer makes sense. I do think what we're going to see from the auto industry is more manufacturers will look at their portfolio in terms of what they sell in the U.S. and they're going to say, not a high volume, not high profit margin, not worth importing. 